drivers in a, uh, in a street car. And um, the important point that I want to get across to you guys today is um, when you're measuring to set up your coilovers, don't rely off measurements from the chassis rails. Now I know that sounds a little bit odd, but in many cases from the factory, factory chassis rails aren't centered in the car all the time. So they are to a point, and then a lot of the time from the back here, back simply change due to whatever reasons they have. Sometimes it's because there's a spare wheel well that they need to get around and make clearance for a tire. Other times like in say LC, LJ, Tiranas, I've got no idea they actually run on the piss, um, not even parallel in the car at the back. So the way I set them up is, as you can see, I've got my laser laser chalk line set up and I'll measure everything off the center line of the car. So before we even start, all right, we'll pick a, a center point at the very back of the car. So remembering the earlier video, take a couple of measurements because you don't know the history of the car. So on a Commodore, I'll measure between the uh, boot openings, the tail light edges, um, just a few different places and make sure that all of those, those measurements all give you the same center line. So that's the rear. When we move up to the front, um, I'll, I'll go up the center of your suspension pivot points. So your front front points there, that's, um, that's gonna be your most accurate because your control arms are always gonna be the same size. All right, so once you've got your, your center line set up centered, we want to try and get our coilovers as wide as we can because that'll make make the car a lot more stable than if they're right in close, obviously. And measure out off your center line to where your shocks are. So make sure when you measure that you have the same measurements both sides back into that center line. Now, a lot of the time, like on Commodores especially, you'll notice it. These are dead center to our center line of the car but they're not the same distance off the chassis rail. So that's that's because on the back of this one, they had a spare wheel well here. So they've they've blended their chassis rail to come out further to clear the spare tire. But don't measure off the side here and make them the same because your shocks aren't gonna be centered in the car. And you know, that, that can lead to all kinds of funny stuff on the street. Um, it's not a great deal, but I like to make sure I'm the same. So I'll bring the camera forward and I'll show you the difference between the rail. And, um, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so at the top here, we're about 32 mil off the chassis. We go to the other side, exactly the same measurement. I'm around about 70. Now that's, that's sheerly because the chassis rail is kicked over on the passenger side. You can even see on these, they're not even the same shape. You've got a triangle rail on that side as opposed to a square rail. So don't just assume that your chassis rails are centered because they most certainly aren't in a lot of cars. Some they are, some they aren't. We'll take a quick little walk around to the Tirana and you'll see exactly what I mean. All right, we're back over that little LC that's being built. Driver side rail, it's straight. And there you can see in relation to the chassis jig, passenger side rail is actually running on an angle. They're not, not centered, they're not even straight, so. Okay, so there you have it, guys. There's my, um, my little pointer for you when you're setting up your coilovers. And that's, I work off a center line. I don't work off a measurement to the rail because in a lot of cases, the rails, like I said, they're not always centered. So check your center line, measure out off your center line, take a couple other measurements, and you should be fine. Now, I also, this is not critical, but I also set my shocks up vertical, straight up and down, plumb, both ways. Um, some guys set them up angled in or, or whatever. That's that's their, their way of doing it. I prefer to leave my shocks plumb perpendicular. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Let us know that what I'm doing, you're enjoying. Um, subscribe, it's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And uh, make sure you share it with your mates that might be building their own cars because I'm sure they could get some useful tips from some of the videos we're putting out. We try and do it every week. Doesn't always happen, but I'm doing my best, I'm a one man show, so yeah, get on it guys. Like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, cheers for watching.